Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Seacourt Tennis Club for the Ladies British Open 2024. We have a doubles quarterfinal for you this evening. We've had our two singles quarterfinals already. And now we'll have our two doubles quarterfinals. So, straight into it, let's introduce uh, the players. Starting at the receiving end with Alex Garside, who is one of the tournament organisers and has been involved with the LRTA since its inception. And that she has been around and done it all. That career highlights only shows half the story because those, those results are only what um, is on RTO. Uh, she has played through the Opens for many, many years uh, in the doubles. Uh, in the doubles, she held the British Open uh, continuously from 1987 till 1993, and again between 1998 and 1999. Uh, she also has a French and US Open doubles title. And in the singles, she has a, a British Open doubles title from 1994 and a French Open from 1994 as well so truly one of the legends of the game her partner this evening is Irina Dolbish who is one of the peripatetic real tennis players uh, at the moment she doesn't have a home club and she has previously won open titles as well she won the British Ladies Open in 2016, the US Ladies Open in 2015. That's the doubles. The only one that she's not married is the Australian Ladies Open doubles, and she's also won a US Open singles as well. So, truly some pedigree down this end of the court. They played together last year as well, making the quarterfinal stage, succumbing to Nicola Doble and Georgie Willis. Their opponents tonight are the Cambridge pair of Sophia Lewis and Kreya Yamaguchi. So Sophia and Kreya were housemates at their time at Cambridge University. Uh, and they played for the Cambridge Blues team together. So Sophia Lewis uh, started her career at Seacorp. Um, she continues to play here from time to time. Though she lives now in London. Oops. Uh, she made the semi finals of the doubles last year. I um, can't remember exactly the circumstances for that. I'll have to fact check that one for you. And her partner, Kreya Yamaguchi, again, she's currently unattached to a tennis club. Uh, she was playing in Cambridge and she doesn't have a home club anymore. And this is her doubles debut at a competition knockout tournament. They played earlier this week against Bernadette Bidouz and Jane Taylor. Coming through that match 6-1, six 6-love. Six They've also played a bunch this week already in the handicap doubles tournament. So great to see those two together uh, they Kreya is a lawn tennis blue from Cambridge that's how she got into the game and looks like they are about to get underway so Don't forget, there is plenty more to come this month, starting, well, finishing off this weekend. We'll have the semi-finals and final of these competitions on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, and then we will move over to the rackets uh, for the 
Move over to the Rackets at Queen's Club for the Rackets at Doubles. Uh, open. That will take all week, and as well as the IRTPA Super League. Yeah, so that information on the screen was not correct. His previous result is not a semi-final, but she was a quarter-finalist in 2023. Uh, she played with Marina Eastwood against a loss to Josie Tan and Penny Lumley. Just waiting for our marker Drew Lyons to be completely ready. And then the previous British Open in 2022, uh, Sophia Lewis played with Bernadette Bidouz and made the round of 16 stage, losing to Alex Garside and Jill Newby. So discussing a bit of tactics. Uh, this Cambridge pair, or ex-Cambridge pair, of handicaps around about a 50, whereas their opponents are handicaps in the 30s. Game sets. This is a level match. All right, we are One of the things that we will see uh, over the course of this match is Kreia's volleying. She will be up at the net for much of the match. Her excellent lawn tennis skills. <laughs> She's a blue at lawn tennis at Cambridge, which is not an easy thing to do for me. 30, 40. She is one to avoid at that gallery position. So it'll be interesting to see how Alex and Arena will line up. So how will they play their formation? Will they play with <coughs> Alex up or Irina up? Or will they mix it up a bit? All remains to be seen. Four or five. So, Alex to serve. Short chase means both will stay back for now. The first game goes the way of Sophia and Kreia. Serena currently going up to those galleries. It's always unclear with Alex playing and both Arena playing. They play so rarely, both of them. Arena travels a lot for work. The only time she really plays uh, is for these LRTA tournaments. Whether that's the Open, the World Championship, Benny Ross Skinner, or one of the international Opens. 
she's not because she's not attached to a club she doesn't play week in week out she doesn't practice or train it's all just her residual talent from her earlier years Where's he love? briefly working at, at Middlesex and studying there and Alex plays tennis she, she lives opposite the tennis court but she plays relatively rarely So it may take a little bit of time for these two to get fully reaccustomed with the game. That said, it's not that clear and severe play all that much either. Both now living in London. Hazard Second Gallery. A bit distant from a reliable source of tennis courts. One game all. So Alex and Arena will square it up. Great job there by the third seeds. So do let us know where you're watching from. We'd love to hear from you in the live chat. It's great to have you with us wherever you are around the real tennis world. Plenty of people filling up. The sequel right. dead on is absolutely packed. Chase three. People down the side galleries. Big, there's a big load of fish and chips that's just arrived. Alcohol's flowing from the bar. Seacourt's a great place to be on a Friday night. Freya has not actually spent a lot of time playing real tennis. She's more bringing her natural talent from her lawn tennis game to her real tennis. Shots like that in front of the tambo. And her positioning around the tambo are probably what's a bit dangerous and something that Arena and Alex could pick on. She doesn't always play the tactically correct way around the tambo. Sort of relies on her skill. I've seen a couple of times so far this particular game that's not really worked out. Oh, 
second game does go to Thea and Kreia. Interesting to see the serving pair. They are playing server up. See, monitor that to see if that changes at any point over the course of the match. Once again in the firing line, I'm sure he's seen way, way worse. Just classfully ducking out of the way. Again, that's the kind of shot that I'm talking about. Just a bit of inexperience just cramping them up on that side. 40 15. Games all. Irina just took the pace off a bit off that serve. And it out just a little bit through the shot just before she needed to be. Just a bit quick through it. A tactical discussion. And uh, they are going to change their setup from serve up to just Arena up. That means Alex is going to be back of the Dino. court. Marina using her lawn tennis skills to be up in that gallery in that volleying position. So finally the receivers have the chase. The chase is relatively rare to come by in doubles. And that one just floats into the dead on. So this oh, I'm gonna show you as a replay of just a few points ago. This serve. Uh, that is spot on the line from the other angle. Spot on the line. 
why he's one of the best markers in the world. Able to call that shot. 40-15, service lead, chase three. He's marked so much from under that penthouse, especially here at Seacourt. He knows what every single plank of wood sounds like. Game servers, three games to two. Sophia nearly cleaning up Kraya there. <laughs> Kraya just there hoping that the ball's not going to come to her. To see somehow some people protect themselves up at that gallery position. Sophia really should be looking to hit that cross court or a bit more lob. That ball you just saw there is one of Prairie's weaknesses in the volley. Is the volley below her thigh height. She doesn't quite read that one in the air as well as she does the ones at the hip level or higher. Now the yard, 30 it's a bit unfortunate for the serving pair. They really wanted to keep this service in for just a bit more. So, this is a bit of an example of uh, the kind of upset that these two can put. Oh, when Sophia played um, Varsity match for Cambridge, she played a match in the doubles with India Blakesley against Georgie Willis. I can't remember off the top of my head who Georgie's partner was that day, but on, d on paper there, about a 17 handicap point difference between the pair more after this. On a double fault for Second Arena. Second gallery. She had trouble with her serve. She had a one, one serve Ben Tambo match in the handicap doubles earlier today and she really struggled with it. A few first serve faults costing her that match. Oh. That, however, was absolutely classy. 40-15. First set. So three all here in this first set. So as we're saying, they played a difference of 17 on paper, uh, and Sophia and India managed to come up against those odds and win it with a very feisty crowd, if I remember. Uh, against Georgie, Georgie won't like me bringing up this match. I think it still haunts her a bit, uh, but. Sophia played back. She's very consistent at the back of the court. In India, again, uh, with a lawn tennis and a paddle pedigree. Um, a suitable partner up at the net. So when Sophia finds that volleying style partner to play with, she can play well above her level in doubles. does well there, tricky bounce, another one coming. And that is, that is why she was a dominant force at this tournament 20 something years ago in the late 80s, early 90s. Her name is Sally Jones.
It's that kind of ball which I don't think those two are quite experienced enough to set up for. Yes, Craig did the right thing by ducking out of the way there, but Sophia should have realised that, that was coming a lot sooner and been there to cover it. Whereas that particular ball, again, Craig doesn't necessarily need to be playing at that. If she wants to go for it, then let her go for it. Uh, but Sophia should be there to cover. She plays very far forward. This earlier, Arena's volley into the grill. Great to see some action replays of this fantastic tennis that we are witnessing this evening just in the bottom of that grill. <laughs> hey! More tactics discussion. Why does she always need to blow her nose when she plays? Yeah, a reminder that we have at least one more match for you this evening, and that will be the second doubles quarter final. The number one and number two seeds of this tournament have automatic buys through to the semi finals. But that number one seed is Claire Fay playing with her sister Sarah. Which meant that Claire's partner for the last two years, Tara, is relegated to playing with Jess Garside. Is the other pair. Tough shot here now for Lewis and Yamaguchi. 40-30 down and chase a yard pending. I imagine they would need a pretty good shot here. 40-30 servers, chase a yard. Chase a yard. And the right height on it. It's just fractionally Four wide. Games to that three. Four, three, first very second. easily could have slipped in. Alex was determined to let that go wide. Here from the dead on there, the perfect length of bobble there from Arena. Given her relative, inex relative inexperience, um, serving well will do a lot of good for the serving pair. It's just a lot of serves that Kreya won't have seen in her life. 40, 15. See Arena there when she's ducking at the, that gallery. She's ducked and she's put a racket behind her head to protect her head from it. It's quite amusing, really. Apologies for the, the slight technical, technical grammars. We had a very brief internet outage here at Sea Court. We hope that that doesn't continue. 
Thirty forty. The internet at this part of the world can be a little bit spotty. Five games to three. Let's hope it doesn't get in the way of some fantastic tennis that we are seeing today. So Alex and Arena now one game away from the set. They are looking very comfortable. They have settled down into a bit of rhythm. Yeah, they're losing points here. That's because they're down the receiving end, which is relatively rare for them. That particular shot, I think, is perhaps Sophia's biggest strength on the tennis court. She plays that backhand so well. take the game it's now four games to five game for the servers four games to five the ex cambridge pair are not out of it yet they have the serve that they can hold the serve through this game it gives them a very good chance of making it oh. <laughs> and that one did not end up where they wanted it to go. is looking for the grill there and just to cover the back of the court again and that is exactly the kind of rally that Sophia Lewis wants that put them under the pressure after the backhand and getting the opening on the forehand that's her biggest strength when playing tennis Meanwhile, that's the kind of point that Craig Yamaguchi wants. 30-15. Up there, putting on the pressure with that volley. Yes. And all of a sudden, they have chance to bring it back to five all and just hit her under the armpit just didn't quite read that one route and got it onto the top of the racket a bit of a shock there from arena after that shot to play it has one and two is the chase and it 
interesting uh, attempt at a shot there by Kraya. But not to be. 30 40. No, you just played a chance. Drew has indeed got the score correct. Chance here will leave that for a hazard. Chase is so critical in the game of doubles. So he has a chase here, still with a point to bring it back to 5 all and make it interesting. We've already had one big Hazard upset tonight when Izzy Marshall from Oxford, Oxford alumni, took down Jess Garside in three sets. And that grill will bring it to 5 all. One game Five to game decide the set. Some great work in the air by Kraya Yamaguchi. Just using that volley really well, working together as a pair. Just finds the top of the racket. Not with enough string on it to get it over. Somewhere out in the lead in this final game of the set. Marina oh, holds a nerve. It is 30 all. Brings up a set point now to the ex Cambridge pair. If you look, both of these two girls playing to their strengths, one forward, one back. Is not afraid to go at anything. I think it's a great lesson if you're an improving player playing at the gallery position. It is an aggressive position. People always say you're up there defending the galleries. It works best if you're Worst attacking the ball, anything in the air, and taking that time away from your Worst opponent. Three. So Chase is worse than three. Set point. Oh, that goes in. <laughs> they found the dead on, and they found the first set here. First set receiver, 6 5. Second set. Quick discussion on both ends of the court about the tactics. Arena will take the serve. Kraya will continue to receive. So how do Arena and Alex work their way back into this match now? Oh, 
Well, we saw Jessica's side go down in the first set. In the first match, she came back and won the next one. Six love. The start of it, it looks like what Arena wants to do this time around. into the rafters and the first game first goes game, second of set. Garside and Dulbish. So will they continue to pile on games as the handicap suggests? Already it's a great match here by Lewis and Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi playing in her first open just as Izzy Marshall was in the singles. the first chase that they need but just need some more points on the board they haven't got a point yet for this set just to say that there it comes a bit of an awkward ball there for Alex I wonder how long tactic of Alex at the back is sustainable. <laughs> See how her fitness holds up through the course of this match. Though service points one is high even for doubles. 62% each. have a quick look this was the set point of the previous set chase was worse than three it just finds its way into the dead on a big high five between the ex-Cambridge pair former housemates and this from the other angle same point and it just sneaks in off the main wall as low as it possibly can go on the base of that dead on. 40 15 receivers, worse than three. So, worse than three is the chase. Be awkward. Game, two games to love. As Sophia just catches her racket against that back wall. As I said, it was going to be awkward. Up. And just finds a little bit of a racket tip. So the, the immediate next question is how long can Sophia and Kreia stay down this service end? Something they've struggled with over the periods in this match. Hazard, half a yard, 15 up. Kreia's volleying is particularly good, but He's prone to losing the surface and probably some hazards.
cracking volley by Kraya, but Marina was up to it. So let's have a look at those first set statistics. Just over half an hour for the set. Points one, just one point in it. That one point for the difference the half a yard. means that the Cambridge pair have that crucial set to love lead. Has a chase. I should finish this off. 40 love, chase two. Chase two here. Lost the chase, game that seven. Will tip over Three the net, but to not far enough, and all of a sudden. Three love, second set. Alex and Arena have bolted to a three love lead. I think it's the largest lead we've had at any point in games so far this match. We <laughs> love Beer and Kraya have really struggled to get up for this set. In the first set, they got a few games early on with Arena and Alex. Just trying to get back familiar with playing with each other. It's the first time they've played with each other this week. Kraya and Sophia. Have the better door. Kraya and Sophia played in a first round match and then have played at least four of the handicap doubles matches together. Three group stage matches and a quarter final. Very loose there from Alex. Not properly punished by Sophia. You know. And that ball from Kraya really should be Sophia's off the back wall. <coughs> Chalk that one down to a little bit of inexperience. Slash enthusiasm. And then just showing that Kraya isn't the only one who can have fun at the net. Sophia's inexperience, just playing as a pair. She really needs to be covering that ball a lot better. She wants to make progress in the game. So this match is still closely mirroring that earlier semi-final with Jess Garside, where she'd lost the fourth set tight. 40-15, receivers. To a big, big lead in the second. The Unfortunately for Alex, her daughter lost that match in the third. So Sophia and Kraya will be hoping that that pattern will repeat. So better than the door is the chase. Drag serve incoming. Okay. It's a four love. love lead now. Unfortunately, I don't have the statistics on it, but it would be very interesting to see how these server receiving matchups are playing in the course of the match. To see if this Kraya versus Arena pairing is having any more. 30-15 success than the Lewis and Garside pairing for each particular team. Because it feels like 
Cray is struggling serving to Irina more than Sophia is struggling serving to Alex. I don't have the data to back that up. And now Lewis and Yamaguchi have a chance to get on the board in the second set. That one has just snuck into the grill. Alex really wasn't expecting it to. And that one has a bit more force behind it. One game to four, second set. And they are now on the board at one game to four. Enough. Mm -hmm. Force just coming on Sophia a little bit faster than she was expecting. More used to playing at that Cambridge court, I guess. We won't come quite at that particular angle. As a reminder there, it's plenty more tennis to come this weekend. We'll have one more doubles quarterfinal for you tonight. We'll have the semi-finals and uh, semi-finals and final for you on Hazard Saturday and Sunday. And then on Monday we will start the British Open Rackets doubles. Five games to one. So after five just one. about no time at all, it is 5-1 here in this second set. That's looking a little bit like the dream run that Lewis and Yamaguchi is having is slowly coming to an end. I think Alex in particular has settled down her game a bit more, making fewer errors and just monitoring the back of that court much more efficiently. The commentator's curse there, but um, I think they've, they've definitely settled down into the rhythm of the match, even though they lost that first set. I think a little bit of just a slower start and starting that five all game at the receiving end.
just a few chases away, some mid-distance chases away from picking up that second set. <coughs> with a date with one of the top two seeds awaiting in the semi-final. That promises to be a fantastic match. It was that final. Great to see you all. Sarah Vigras back out on court time. again. After a bit of a break, she's been hard at work playing at Preston. She's got a few rapid series of results in the last few days on her RTO. And that ball West just took a bit of extra spin off that wall that Alex put on it. That's what caused the volley oh. error. Oh, just because it's clipped that band on the way up. Second serve here at set point. And that would do it. We are now one set all. One set all. A bit of discussion here. Get excited for the third set, final set. That's Nune discussing, Kraya and Sophia discussing. Problem for Kraya and Sophia is final set level. They don't have much choice in the matter of who receives. So Sophia will serve to Alex to start the third set. So those pairings are the same as they were in the first two sets. I think if Lewis and Yamaguchi were at the receiving end, they probably would have switched it. Because after you lose the set 6 level 6 1, you've kind of got no excuse not to. Oh, a fantastic volley by Arena. Just increasing the pace of the rally, which is absolutely destroying the volley. Took a bit too much pace off. That's what caught Alex off guard there. Well, the quality of tennis out there at the moment is high. You wouldn't expect this pair at the serving end to be a bunch of 50 handicappers. It is good, high quality stuff. Very few mistakes. You really have to win the points. This is the rally that ends in Irina's volley. It's a bit unorthodox, a bit of top spin. And then this is the one that ends. Yard. And that crisp, crisp volley. Right, chase a yard. <laughs> and Drew ducks out the way of that one. That one's not going to beat the chase. Not going to get over the net.
Serves advantage. As long as these two keep the serve, which they are tending to do, it doesn't seem like this match is going to run for too much longer. Even though they've got the whole set to go, they are looking fairly dominant now. The new service of this Cambridge pair has a lot to figure out going into the back half of this match. So that second set, just 17 minutes. Very few chases, but fairly dominant by Garside and Dorbish. Winning at three to one points. Three points to one over the course of the set. Which is receivers. perhaps Less a bit three. more effective of the handicap difference between these two pairs than the first set was. We'll call it chase off. <laughs> the score not change, still advantage. <laughs> so let's just have a look at that chase off. Remember, the chase was worse than three. First bounce in the wall, second bounce, spot on worse than three. Those eyes of a hawk from Drew Lyons at it again. Serves advantage, chase worse than four. <coughs> spot on worse than three. Chase and the game. that game. one go, okay. and we are well and truly underway now well in this third set. Marina and Alex really looking to press home advantage. Uh, Railroad really did kick. I don't think Cray has seen much like that before. Chasing after it, not really in position for it. Dino. That one a little bit more fortunate. Thirty fifteen. Alex has struggled over the course of this match to defend that dead on in the air. She hasn't really taken to the volley all that much. Not that Lewis and Yamaguchi have really pressured her on it, but it will be some, definitely a question to answer if they make it through to that semi-final. Arena really showing her strength up, up at the net. And game. That is a perfect shot there from Alex Garside. Two really games to love, two love. Perfect weight on it. Onto the base of Tamba. Very little that Sophia could do about it. The fact that Drew can call those faults, I think, is quite incredible, really. Because they don't sound very different to balls that hit the penthouse normally on the way up. And we've just seen it so many times at both the elite levels and at the club level. But he knows exactly what's a fault and what's not. Do you know? 
Again, that's crazy an experience. She's playing like it's a singles match, trying to cover both the timbre and the, and the one that misses the timbre. But she just needs to hold back and wait for the one that hits the timbre, really. Sophia's called it as yours, which means it, she, in her view, is going to hit the timbre. Last gallery, 30-15. <coughs> Very close to a fault call. Crayer takes the ball and then just slots it straight in the dead on. goes in the dead on as well. Off the ball for Alex. Doesn't quite go over. Let's have a look at how the target stats are shaping up. So Alex, Anna, Rachel and Canada and Sarah leading in at that dead on's percentage. There's in the grills. Alex and Arena. 40-30 servers. Last Lead. gallery on that grills percentage. Last gallery. Fantastic point. The defense eventually falls. Yes. But Krayev in particular did really well through much of that. And finally, finally they get one past her. Let's have a look. This was the last gallery chase again. Craig does really well on this point, but eventually it's just one ball too many. Answered receivers. Great hands to get that back. Worst but three. This last ball here. One too much. Chase was worse than three. And Drew's called it at three and four. So that loses a chase, but it's very tight.
three love now to three games Alex to and Arena. Final set. So now they are looking at oh. getting into that semi final somewhere both of them have been before on many occasions. Both of them through to many finals, in fact. So I'm going to bring you back uh, moments ago. So this was remember this was Chase worse than three. Drew's called it as Chase lost. That's the bounce there. <coughs> to me, that's he called it as lost to Chase three and four. I think he's got that one wrong there. I think that's Chase off. To be fair to Drew, he's been marking incredibly well all evening. And I think we can we give him worse than last gallery. one small error. It's very hard, especially leaning out to look at that backhand corner. Arguably that particular ball is easier to mark from the back of the net, uh, back of the dead on, rather than the position he is standing. Dirty Love has a chase too. Game okay, receivers. And this set is continuing much like the previous Four one. It is all one way traffic at the moment to the favour of Alex and Irina. Just looking to close out this match now. Feel up. I think a bit of the venom has gone out of Sophia and Kraya's shots really. being solid walls at the end of the court. So yeah, at the end of the third set is finding more and more errors in that forehand corner. But I don't think Cray has got the skill sets to sub in for her really. She just has to keep working away and keep trying but they are running out of road. Fifteen, fourteen. takes a big whiff at that one and misses it completely. Thirty, forty. So we are at Juice now. Lewis and Yamaguchi are looking to use the service end to get their first game of the third set. 
but it is looking uh, difficult really. It's got a lob high. Playing lob ball at the moment. She's just going to be careful when she runs across the court and then leaves it. She doesn't get smacked in the back of the head. We've oh. already seen her get struck once tonight, but that one wasn't her fault. She's just a bit of a sitting duck in the middle of the court there. Game receivers. So one game away now from a semi-final position. commentary position here at the Barrett Sea Courts. The players for the next semi-final are eagerly pacing about. Eager to get on. We're running about an hour over schedule with this match going to three sets. The first single semi-final also going to three sets. It all looks to be concluding very shortly in all likelihood. We'll just roll very marginally long. Very almost an excellent serve, but as it is it's a fault. And they are out of balls because this being doubles, Drew doesn't get as many chances to refill the ball trough. So he's going to do that now. Something he has done you know, hundreds of thousands of times in his life. 15 all. Forty fifteen. So that brings up the first of two set points, match points rather, to Alex and Arena. So we look to go into yet another British Open semi final. Chase will delay them slightly from that chance, but one suspects that they will convert one of these match points soon enough. Service lead 40 15, second gallery. <laughs> so, second gallery is the chase. It's a bow and a big hug between the pair. They win the match two sets to one. And they book their place in the British Open semi final. One quick look at the match summary. One hour and 14 minutes for the match. In the end, a yeah, dominant performance by Garside and Dorbish. Unlucky not to take it in two sets. Credit to Sophia and Kreia for a great fast start. But ultimately, experience prevails. And we will be back very shortly with the last match of the evening. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned to the... Tennis and Rackets channel 
for the doubles semi-final coming up very soon. Bye for now. You're now there, Joyce. Go on. and 